Hey YouTube, this is Brand Freeze Laser with a video response to Slim's 99% confirmed Yu-Gi-Oh! September 1st ban list. Now, he states that he he's not really actually 100% sure, 99% sure. He doesn't he doesn't know if this this list is accurate or you know if the information is really true. But he feels that it's possible that it's fairly true that it's it's a pretty good source. And based on what he's put in this video, you kind of what I piece together, it looks like this meta, or the meta that they're trying to build with this list, is kind of a slower format. You know, I'm going to go over a few cards that are in the list. I'm going to have an annotation for his video somewhere, you know, probably right here, wherever. And basically, what gets hit or, you know, comes off the list, you know, Kaluth's back up to two. Duality is up, to, is down to two. Tour guides down to two. Mirror Force is up to two. The Heretic Rota is down to one. Sukiyomi is back, according to this list. Chaos Sorcerer is down to one. Wind ups are winding down. Insectors are getting hit pretty hard, and Red Eyes is hit to one. Now, what this tells me is that they don't want decks making crazy big plays and bringing out grips of ex exceeds and synchros or whatever the decks do you know crazy combos all sorts of stuff like that mirror force up to two shows me that yeah we have mirror force still in play yeah we have three MSCs, three night beams three dust tornadoes nobody in america is really playing dust tornado nobody's playing night beams i really like that card in japan there's a deck that's running three MSCs, basically three of all three ofs of all three of those and heavy and breaker apparently you know um so they really don't want you to have a backfield in Japan. They want to get that hit through, the big hit. And what this this list shows is that, you know, whether or not we have all that removal is, you know, doesn't mean you're going to have it all the time. So essentially, yeah, you hit my one Mirror Force, but here comes another one. I only have one Book of Moon, but I also have Tsukuyumi. And, you know, the reason behind that was I had to think about it. I was like, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just bring back another book and leave Tsukuyumi on the list? And Tsukuyumi isn't as flexible as Book of Moon is. Book, you can set it, you know, your opponent goes to attack or something, or your opponent goes to kill your monster or whatever, and you can use it offensively and defensively. Tsukuyumi, you could do so also, but you have to do it on your turn. So, and you have to use a summon to to use Tsukuyumi's effect. So, that becomes kind of like a, do I want to summon another monster, or do I want to summon Tsukuyumi and kind of play some flip tricks? Sorcerer down to one, Sorcerer was at three, you know, having three sorcerers and a blackluster soldier is kind of a lot of chaos. You know, that's a, that's a lot of easy big monsters to bring out. Two two sorcerers right off the bat, that's a six star exceed. So I can see why they put that down to one. Uh, the heretic rota, obviously, you know, they want to slow the deck down. Insectors, they want to slow that deck down. Wind ups, you know, Zen mighty, uh, they don't want that craziness going on. Windups can still make exceeds. Windup can still make other exceeds. Windups can still do a lot of other things. They don't have to, you know, do all that craziness. Tour Guide down to two? I don't think that's enough. I think Tour Guide should be down to two and Sangan be banned. But, you know, I don't work at Konami, so I don't make those options or make those decisions. But I think Tour Guide is still viable at two. There's still a lot of ways to putting Tour Guide back into the deck. Tour Guide still is, has a lot of options. Tour Guide being at 2 isn't a big thing to me. You know, this reminds me a lot of the Teladad format. When Teladad was, at, you know, Dad was at 3, you know, he was everywhere. He was just, Dad was too powerful. They brought him down to 2, and that didn't really do anything. It was just like, meh. Limiting Dad to 2 didn't really do anything. It kind of just like, it took away one Dad, and that was it. I mean, you didn't really feel it when you played, I played that deck, or a proxy version of that deck. And it was still just as powerful as it was at three. So tour guys down to two is like whatever. Kalutes up to two. That 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 brings me back to my point. They don't want to give two honests. They don't want to have you let you have two honests. So they didn't bring honest back to two. Because that honest is splashable. Honest is splashable in a lot of decks. A lot of light monsters in a lot of decks. But Kalut can only be played in black wings. You can you can splash a couple black wings in a couple decks. You know, but. 
collude up to two will slow down the game. You'll you'll decide, you know, you'll make decisions that you didn't make before or didn't don't make now. You'll go, whoa, wait, do I want to attack him? He might have collude. So that's what basically that tells me with that decision. Red eyes down to one. I don't know why this didn't happen sooner. Red eyes is really powerful. I hate having that combo go off super early. You know, I play on dueling network and people you know people play that deck a lot. You just you see a red eyes come out and you're just like, oh, here we go. Now this is going to be a lot of cycling and dragons on the board in a second. So yeah, basically that, that his video tells me that essentially what Konami wants to do is make the game a little slower. Not a whole lot. And you know, the rumors of DMOC coming back, I guess were unfounded or maybe not. You know, maybe DMOC will be back. Maybe maybe this list is wrong and or maybe this list is is incomplete. We'll see. Only the future will tell us what happens. We only have a few weeks left to see what really happens. You know, I'm not going to make uh, any predictions. You know, he really didn't make any predictions either. These were basically somebody else's predictions, and he was just kind of like, that's, that's interesting. You know, so, and it is interesting. If this is the way that the game's going, it's kind of, kind of makes me want to get back into it a lot more because it looks like it's going to be a little slower. And especially with the new archetypes coming out, I can see why they hit a couple of the archetypes that exist now. You know, they want to kind of get you away from those so you can start playing the new ones and try them out. And so, yeah. But basically, that's what I think about that. Leave me a video response or a comment in the comment section. Uh, also, I'll have a link to the original video, Slim's YouTube page in the description section. And there was an annotation at the beginning of the video if you missed it that links to the original video. So go check him out, and I'll see you guys later.